What is happening? Welcome to another Pitcher Video Breakdown. My name is Nick Pollock, and today, yeah, we got to talk about this. This was Alec Manoa's return on Friday uh, of last week. His return back from the majors after being just a horrendous pitcher. He had a 1.9 whip and over a 6 ERA um, in his starts before he was demoted and sent to the For Florida Complex. He came back and he had this amazing start without a single walk against the Tigers. Okay, well, let's watch it. What's going on? So, we're going to go quickly through this one. The main thing about Manoa, before he went down to the minors and everything, or really, the ex excellence of previous seasons is rooted on three things, okay? Four seamers that are well located, that's a really good one inside, but upstairs and getting whiffs. A sinker that is commanded inside to righties, which you guys know I absolutely love. And a slider that is confident inside the zone and getting whiffs. And that is the good slider. I know it's a front door one, and you generally don't want to do front door. When I was a kid in high school, I would throw front door sliders, and no one could hit it because they'd be terrified and no idea how to stay in the box and actually wrap around it. But in the majors, they can do that. So if they have any anticipation for a slider or an off-speed pitch, they will destroy that. However, it's 0-1, and they're not expecting that. So Manoa can just sneak that in. They can throw another one down and away. I oh, tries to, yeah, huh? it's still not Freak Manoa. <laughs> That's supposed to be down and away off the plate. You can actually see how ahead of that pitch he was, thus that would be a whiff away, but he didn't do it. He just didn't do it. And that is the sinker, and Manoa's trying to get crafty here of throwing a backdoor sinker that gets the outside corner. Clearly doesn't have it. I mean, that's, that's, yeah, that, that's not it. Oh, there it is! He tries to do it! You can even see the step. Look at that step that he does. goes. Look at Manoa's reaction here. This is awesome. He thinks he has it. Oh, no, he didn't have it. Get lower. He got a... Now he throws slider away. Oh, he tries to go four-seamer instead, um, which is kind of crafty because he's throwing two straight sinkers, and then that one stays true, and it's a little bit harder to bear on. That's actually why I think that one is fouled off as opposed to, to hit and play. Uh, they're saying let's go to slider here, which I I do agree with. He actually tries to get sneaky with a sinker inside, which I kind of dig because everything was away, right? You have two sinkers away, then a fastball away, and probably thinking of that slider again, and then he can sneak a sinker inside. That's good, but Manoa still doesn't have the command he used to have with that sinker. Uh, it's still a problem. Spoiler alert. And there's the slider finally. And honestly, all three of those were hung um, that he threw in this at bat. One was fouled off over here. One was uh, a backup that was supposed to be over here. And this is supposed to be down here. It's 3-2, so he's trying to throw a strike. But, like, he wants it over here. He gets it over. I'm glad it worked out for him. But that's that strike, it does not peak Manoa. And there's 94 right down the middle of the plane. Verling, who you probably don't really know too well, swings through it. Um, yeah, that's, you know, it makes you feel good with your four seamer. Oh, my God, check swing, another one. So that's two... Two whiffs on your four seamer back to back here from Noah, and you gotta you gotta feel good about that. Like that's that's something you didn't really have before. Now you throw a slider. No no no, don't throw the fastball. Oh boy. The reason I didn't want him to throw a fastball is because Verling did tip that last one, and you don't want to give him three shots of swinging at a heater. I know there have been times where guys just can't hit it and they just roll over on it. But I feel like you give him like Verling is so in tune with that, and if you just throw a good slider, you got him. Yeah. Oh, uh, but that's not a good one. Like, Nick, what are you talking about? That's down in the bottom corner of the zone. It's 0-2. You see how defensive this is from Verley. Look at his body language as he swings at this. He is not ready to hit this, but he, is, he has to swing. So if you throw this out of the zone where he's committed when it's in the zone for a long time, that's a strikeout. But no, he gets it in the zone, and thus it's a foul ball, and the at-back continues. There goes another fastball, very easy take. He tries to, I think that was a sinker that was trying to backdoor. Why are you trying to do that? He whiffed. No. Why would you throw this? This is the kind of stuff, I don't know. Like, um, on one hand, it's like, Nick, come on, you're over here. On the other hand, I do talk to players. <laughs> like, understand that I'm not just some guy that's just randomly watching videos. Uh, I, I've actually had conversations exactly like this one about not throwing uh, this kind of pitch. So, this is a 1-2 count where you've seen two whiffs. And Verling is not going to be passive. This is not a situation, from what you've seen, that Verling is going to see a, a fastball and then come back to the corner and just take it. That's not what's going to happen. Not to mention, Manoa, you're not good at this! This isn't your skill set! 
It hasn't been for like a year. You know, you lost it in July of last year and haven't gotten it back. Ugh. And you saw Verling swing and miss on a four seam to start it. A swing and miss again. Look awkward again. Use that. Instead, you go with a sinker that you don't well command. And that Verling is going to swing at. And you allow a hit. And sure, that like is just through the hole, but you gave an opportunity. I, I really hate that pitch call. That's uh, that, This is not the time to do that. It just it just isn't it. You know, it, a lot of pitching is just not giving the batters good things. Like, don't don't help the hitters. That helped a lot. And I was trying to get some free real estate, which I totally did. Get two outs here. Fastball upstairs, and he's so ready for it. You do not give another fastball. You give a changeup or a slider here. Yeah, he tries to go with a changeup at 87. Look, Mano had a fantastic game. Eight strikeouts, zero walks. I think he's had two, three, two counts already in the first inning. Um, yeah, this is uh, this is not prime Manoa. <laughs> and he goes to another changeup. That's honestly very interesting. I, I look, I love, I love this, and I hate this. I love that Manoa has the the brash confidence at two one after you just terribly miss a changeup, the first one you throw in the entire game, to throw another one. And he does, and you want to say that he executes it because he gets a foul ball, but no. This is like here to here. This is supposed to be here. <laughs> no. Okay, so now the sinker isn't back. He's trying to do the sneaky front door sinker. The problem with that, the reason I don't like it again, is because what you just gave the batter twice in a row are change-ups that are likely, you know, likely the same grip, right? That's the, that's the, the, uh, the, the, the two-seamer grip that's going across sideways like this, right? So you just gave him essentially the same look of getting a pitch that is going in the same direction. Uh, I can see so much right on that change-up. I really am going to assume that it is that circle uh, two-seam grip, not a circle four-seamer grip, which would be more of a kind of a drop to it. So because of that, out of the hand, it looks the same movement as a changeup, which means he's expecting it out of the hand to go back over the plate. Th the way this would work is if you just throw a four-seamer and you get in their head that maybe that spin is the four-seamer instead. But because you just show the same thing essentially twice in a row, three times in a row, that's not going to deceive. And he did it again. Yeah, he got away with it. 100% right. 100% right. He's trying to get a pitch inside here. That should be a four-seamer. You just threw everything that rides, 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 rides. Now you do something that's straight. He has to adjust to that. It's a different pitch. Either this is a flare if you get this here. This is a maybe a swinging strike because he's underneath it. But instead, he fails once again. He's been like 0 for 6 now trying to get a sinker to land uh, glove side. And it leaks out over the plate. And this is following the barrel of the bat. And Carpenter's, Carpenter should, gets underneath it, I guess, but that's a mistake. That should be driven on a line to left field. Got away with it. All right, second inning, let's go. Hey, that's nice. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had a cough because that is just so ridiculous. Only Javier Baez. All right, guys, I'm going to show you something. I know I'm a pitching account, but... You want one example of why Javier Baez is not a stud anymore? This is an OO pitch. And if you're swinging at OO pitches, think about it in your head. Okay, this pitch needs to be in the zone. If it is a breaking ball, if I'm looking for a breaking ball, you're looking for it inside the zone. If you're looking for a breaking ball, then you'll know if it's going to land too low for you to hit or if it's going to be landing in the middle for you to crush, right? So why then is Javier Baez swinging at this pitch that is down and under the zone where he's out on his front foot, he hits the end of the bat and is a quick out? Never. That should never be an out. Either you're, you're sitting on a fastball and you get a breaking ball and you take it for strike one, or you're sitting on a curveball and you see that this is low and you don't swing at it. I, I don't get it. I, I, 
I don't get it. That's a, that's a fastball upstairs. He's at 91, too. Also, like, Manoa's supposed to be, like, 95 up there. Uh, that That's an interesting one. That's 87. I'm trying to see. Is that supposed to be? Yeah, I think that's a change up he tugs because he doesn't have a cutter. Uh, that's, that's a change that's supposed to be down and away. I mean, yeah, are you guys seeing perfection here? I'm not. <laughs> are you seeing eight strikeouts, zero walks across six innings? Absolutely not. Uh, Four-seamer up and in at 92. That's a really good pitch at 2-0. I love that. But it's at 92. It's not like a 94, 95, but okay. He's, he's getting close. He's making adjustments. And by the way, that's not the sinker. That's the four-seamer coming in. That, I, I just 3 1 down like that. Like, but do, man, that's it. That's the pitch you want. What else are you looking for at 3 1? Right? I mean, generally, lefties, this is this is in the seats to right field. You know, it, it, I got I to gotta say, sometimes there are gifts that guys get. Brandon fought returning to the majors after his debut was against the Rangers, and then he returned to the majors against the Rays is not a gift. Manoa returning to the majors and getting the Tigers, that is a gift. He's got this next level. Oh, that's good, though. That's nice. That might be my favorite pitch that Manoa has thrown this entire game so far. Maybe the 2-0 fastball up and in. But 3-2, dropping that slider. And by the way, I think this is the fourth. Are we counting here? Fourth 3-2 count he's had? Zero walks, though, right? You know, my, my, my colleague, my good friend, Chris Welsh, I remember before the start was saying that he is absolutely betting that Manoa is going to get at least three walks in this game. And I understand how close that was. And like, I'm surprised too, that he didn't get any walks in this. I feel you, man. Uh, but that's a good pitch. Good job. You, you nailed the slider for a strike like that. And that's actually where he tried to do. I think that's the best executed slider he's thrown this entire game. That's Michael Lorenzo, by the way. He's an all-star, which seems very weird. I know, but who else would it be? It would be Eduardo Rodriguez, but he was hurt. So Lorenzo, congrats, buddy. Um, that's free real estate. Miguel Cabrera, uh, I, yeah, I mean, I think he was looking for a fastball. Kind of thought that he could adjust to that curveball. Fine, that's over the middle of the plate. Swings through it. Okay. You know, that that's a good situation of, like, um, difference between that swing from Cabrera and Baez is that Cabrera knows that's very hittable for him to adjust and probably get a single off of, and he just doesn't do it, right? Um, he's thinking fastball. He's like, okay, you know what? This is a curveball there. I can. This is going to be in the zone. I should be able to get this. Doesn't get it. Um, there, there's that fastball. He goes upstairs. And then what do you throw now? Probably the slider down away. Yeah, he doesn't quite execute it. That's fine. You throw a second one is what I'd do. Yeah, you do. Oh, and it surprises Cabrera. Look at that. It's not easy to surprise Cabrera like that. Uh, that's... <laughs> I know the reaction from Cabrera, but it's not what he's trying to do. And that's not easy to hit those up and in curveballs. Um, you really got to get... You got to get to it. But I... Uh, yeah, not really ideal. It does show that Cabrera wasn't looking for it. So if he does go down and away with it, he does swing through it. He hung that one. I don't know. It, it, I, I'm conflicted about it. It worked. I'm glad. But, like, not what he was trying to do, right? Hey, there's a really good fastball 93. Ooh. I mean, that's nice. That's better than the 0 one, right? That's 0-1. Good. And you see a Bonnie swing out of his shoes. He wants a fastball. Now you don't give him a fastball. You give him another slider. Do not give him a fa Oh, no. Why? Serenity now! Ah! Semenya! I just... Oh, man. <sighs> drives me nuts! It drives me nuts! <sighs> I watch a lot of pitching. I watch so much of it. I... 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 This is... This is my... My... My favorite thing. And it's, it's surprising to me that this mistake happens. I, I really don't think that pitchers and catchers understand the batter enough. And they don't realize, like, the process of an at-bat in the fly. They, they, uh, I could have this long ramble about generally, like, oh, batters, you know, we, we say, like, oh, cool, they, are, they have a woba of this against these fastballs and this of that. And sliders not realizing that, like sliders are often in O2 counts or something like that, or just what they're generally good at in hot zones and, and stuff like that. This is this, the, 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 the anatomy of an at-bat, right? Let, let's go through this because this is, <coughs> excuse me, 
Let's go through this Manoa a bat, and it's honestly one of the most frustrating things that I go through um, while I analyze pitchers and I watch them and I have these conversations with other pitchers all the time. And seeing this from Manoa just drives me up the wall. Stay with me on this. And I want you to understand this. This is a phenomenal first pitch. Down away, fastball at 93. And good on Abanez for not swinging at this because that's not a fast. Even if you're looking heater, that's not the one you want. So we don't really know. Is Abanez looking for a fastball or is he looking for a breaking ball at this point, right? So you test him. You throw off of that this brilliant, brilliant breaking ball. And he swings out of his shoes for it. And this is such a tell. You know, you, you think about poker, you think about other things. There are moments where you can see what the opponent is thinking. And the fact that Abani is a swing out of his shoes on this tells us, okay, he wasn't looking for a breaking ball in the first pitch or the second pitch. He's looking for a fastball in both. He just threw a really good, for, good fastball. So the one thing you don't give him is a fastball. And if you are going to give him a fastball, it better be up here inside, you know, way in a place where there's just no possible way that he gets any sort of wood on this that can be put into play. It's 0-2 now, and you got to give him a slider. You have to do it. He just swung out of his shoes, but no! The pitch call is a fastball, and look, th this is where the glove is. This is where the glove is. And look where the ball lands. Manoa hits his spot. And it's a hit. Why is that the pitch call? It drives me insane. I've seen this before. And I've actually sent it to players and been like, don't do this. And they fix it. They don't do it. it, it uh, there are, you know, the guy like Manoa. It, it's you. Manoa needs to squeeze everything out of what he does right now. And he can't be making those mistakes. Those are fixable things. And it drives me up the wall. And I know a lot of you are looking at me like, Nick, you, you're just in an apartment in Brooklyn. You, who are you? I'm someone who's been covering this for 10 years. <laughs> uh, who, who, who pitched and, and coached and everything like that. I gave pitching lessons. And I have these conversations. And it just... It's a solved game. <laughs> Yeah, sorry. This is a ramble. I know it sounds so arrogant and egotistical and everything. It just it kills me in here, and I'm wrong a lot. I really am. I uh, but that ugh, drives me nuts up the wall. You know, I I've had these. I've had. Uh, I remember even as a like I was coaching like 15 year olds. And I, uh, I would call the pitches. Sometimes I wouldn't, and I would let them like experiment with themselves. And I remember these conversations, like walk through me your philosophy. I'm like, cool, let's figure that out. That's fun of the game. I hope that somebody after is like, that's not it. I, I really, really do hope because you gotta be thinking about that. Man, I thought if they were a really good pitch, and you just hit it. I'm like, no, no, no. That should never be a scenario. That should never I mean this is fine. Whatever. Uh, th that's not a great fastball. I think that's I think that's a sinker trying to come in. I don't know. That's that's just eh. well, that was a hit. Okay. Uh, there's a good first pitch curveball. I love that. This is the last thing we're gonna watch in Manoa. By the way, this is I think we've seen enough here. Uh, they change up that gets a strike and it's kind of not the place you want to throw one. Um, it's change ups are very dangerous things where they are amazing if they if you do it right, and they can be so destroyed if not. Generally, um, in this count, it's 0-1. You don't want it to be here, and you don't want it to be here. Why not here? Because if they're thinking any sort of off-speed, this is right where the barrel goes, and bam. Even if they're thinking for a fastball, this is the easiest way to, if you're out in front, to just kind of drop the barrel and like slow it down and just let it go. So you want to get this away because you're trying to roll this out. This is a situation where Manoa has allowed the first two batters on, and he's trying to get a ground out. He's trying to get a double play. You actually, as a pitcher, you shift mentalities of how you attack to try and get that double play. It's the best thing that you can get right now. It's not a strikeout. It's a double play. So changeup is the right call, but if you get it inside, you might not get that. You'll get more lift on it, but if you get it away, you'll get the end of the bat, and then you'll roll over, right? So that's kind of a mistake that... Um, I'm a little worried about, but there, okay, yep. It's, that's a fine pitch call because he was on the changeup. He swung at a changeup and was able to make contact with it, which means he's a little bit slower, which is the right call.
go for a fastball. You can't throw into the zone at 02. Man, that's like middle. That's middle away. That often, especially if he's slow on it, uh, if he's if he's thinking a, an off speed pitch, that often is actually pushed to left field because they're innately behind on it, which means they can actually angle it out better. And, and then he just fouled it off. I mean, honestly, I go upstairs higher on this. Yes. He finally executed one. Look at that. <laughs> That's the front door sinker has been trying to do all game. I, I'm fine with it because, I mean, sure, maybe this isn't a strike and he gave up on it. But at the very least, it's up here. And it's and it's very close. A competitive pitch at 0-2. I dig this. This is fine. Even as a strike. I mean, it is technically, but like this is as borderline as it gets. Uh, it's still very much not a pitch that I would expect McKinstry to actually do any damage on if he swings. So I'm all for that pitch. That's good. So now you get uh, Torque, who could not handle any of the sliders that you threw. One out. You throw you throw a slider. It's just like textbook slider down and away, or you throw that sinker inside and try and get that double play now. Now you have a righty and righty, and that sinker gets a lot of lateral movement. It really should be either that jam pitch away to try and get it on the handle of the bat, or the uh, the end of the bat with the slider here. Anything else really would just be like really frustrating to me. It's really frustrating. I uh, what is that? What is this? Is this a sinker? Yeah, it's a sinker. Why are they, why are they doing a backdoor sinker? <laughs> This should be an inside sinker. A backdoor sinker essentially allows him to stay on it and push it to right field. And consider that Manoa's sinker is not a drop. It's a ride. Uh, if it's a drop, I get it because then you can have it drop down here to get the end of the bat. But also, Manoa's not commanding this well. We've seen this constantly. I, you just gave an opportunity. But Nick, you got a ground ball. You gave an opportunity for there to be something bad. The the chances of that being the ground out is way lower, I think, than right. others. I don't we'll dig see. that. We'll see if it does. That's not that's not what I do. Ah, there you go. That's the pitch I expected. <laughs> I'd say you try it again, honestly, at 1-0. Oh. Yeah, good. Sweet. You kind of upset you got a whiff. You wanted him to make contact. <laughs> Maybe throw it again. Ah, there it is. Thank you! The sinker inside! What happens? Oh my gosh, you get a ground out! <laughs> Sorry, I'm being very, very mean right now. Um, I mean, yeah, that's great. That's exactly the pitch that I haven't seen Mino throw like all day. And especially with the first and the second two outs, that should be like first thing, first thought. Oh my gosh! Oh, oh boy! My heart like sank. I was like, "Wait, hold on!" I, 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 my my brain went through twenty million things. I was like, "Wait a second, Manoa, Manoa only allows one earned run in this. There's no way like there's this is damage." But even as he threw this, I'm I'm thinking in my head like, "Okay, you throw either the changeup away over here, you throw a fastball inside, or maybe it's a front door or sorry, back door slider, not a sinker. Don't do the sinker now." And where do you want this changeup to be? We have two outs. We want this to be down here. If you're throwing a changeup, it's got to be here where you get the end of the bat. And where do we not want them? Middle here or down here? And where is this changeup? Oh! <laughs> That's like a double down the line a ton of the time. And this just found Vladdy's glove. Oh, my gosh. So, yeah. Um, No. No. No, I, I do not buy the, the, the resurgence of Manoa. I mean, the slider, I think, overall was better. We saw also later on some more four-seamer four whiffs. But, man, I mean, I think, you know, there are some, obviously, benefits of different sequencing that I think can improve here with Manoa. But, I, uh, I, yeah, I think the Tigers' offense isn't good, and Manoa got away with a lot, and I think it's a trap moving forward a bit with Manoa. <sighs> All right, that is it for today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this picture video breakdown. Um, but that is it. So my name is Nick Pollock. I'm your Babs below, and your strikeouts high.